Hey everyone, Matt here with ABI Attachments. Welcome back to another episode of the ABI Poop. Today we are talking about dirt. Hang on, it's not right. Ah. Here at the end of summer, sorry, yeah, somebody had to say it. We're nearing the end of the summer uh, with all the heat and brightness uh, a lot of you are facing on your properties right now. If you've got animals around the farm, uh, just excessive flies and some overwhelming stink that comes from manure piles like this one. And both of those issues can be hazardous to the health of all living creatures on, on your property, not just your animals, but you as well. And so that's the topic of uh, the dirt today, is talking about what you can do to take control of uh, the flies and stink that you're dealing with. So everyone knows that flies around a property and manure around a property, when you've got animals, it's just, it's just par for the course. But it can actually be a misconception that uh, excessive flies and stinky manure is just a farm nuisance uh, because those two factors around your property could actually be an indicator of some deeper problems that you really don't want to mess with. Uh, in fact, we included in the description of this video below an article that talks about some really significant problems that can arise if you've got too many flies around your barn and around your farm property. Uh, and, and you already know uh, that, that when it comes to manure in the stalls, you've got to get it cleaned out as quickly as possible. It's something that we don't like talking about, right? That, I mean. Not too many people love clearing the stalls in the morning, uh, but we know we've got to get those stalls cleaned out on a regular basis to avoid the hoof rot. But even if you're clearing your stalls regularly and you've got a pile going outside, if you're not processing that pile of manure, like the one behind me here, if you're not regularly uh, working with that manure pile to turn it into compost or regularly spreading it out on your pasture and leveraging those uh, pasture rotation techniques, uh, you could be facing uh, some, some diseases and infections for your horses that you you could avoid. So let's talk about what you can do then. And I've kind of hinted at two different options you've got right out the gate. If you have, uh, if you've got the property, if you've got enough pasture ground, you can pick directly from your stall, get it inside of a manure spreader that shreds the manure as finely as possible. So you can put that fine layer of manure down on that portion of the pasture that you're not having your horses graze on right now, right? Using, using that, uh, the pasture rotation method. Uh, but when you spread that manure finely onto your pasture ground after it's been chopped up and shredded really nicely by a great high quality manure spreader, then that, those small chunks of manure now can be heated by the sun, get that temperature up so that the fly larva can't grow. Let the rain wash the nutrients into the soil, the manure dries out, and now you've got brown gold <laughs> for the pasture. Or your other option, uh, like the property here, uh, rather than uh, spreading every single day because there's not a whole lot of pasture ground on this property, uh, they like to compost it up. And so pile it up, rotate the pile on a regular basis so that that manure can break down. You basically have some great black dirt by the time you're done with the composting process. And now it enriches the pasture ground even more quickly uh, because it's already done that great decomposing work. And these are just two of the many ways that you can process the manure on your property to keep the flies down, uh, keep your horse healthy, keep yourself healthy. Uh, so which way is right for you? Well, it, it depends on a lot of factors. Actually, how much land do you have available? How much pasture ground? Uh, how often do you spread your manure? How often do you want to spread your manure? How often do you clean out your stalls? How many stalls do you have? What are your local regulations? How many, how many animals do you have in your property? <laughs> Lots of questions there, which is why we have here on site. I mean, not like not here on site, like in the, back at the shop, back <laughs> the shop on site. Uh, we've got a whole team of product specialists that really know their poop <laughs> and are happy to talk about things. This is what we talk about really all day long. We talk about poop all day. <laughs> and so we would love it if you gave us a call, ask us those questions so we can help you figure out what is right for you. Uh, what manure management plan is going to work best in your context, and how can we keep those flies and stink down? That's all I've got today, everyone. If you've got a funny manure or manure spreader story that you'd like to share, drop it in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. Or if you have other questions about manure management plans or the manure spreaders we have available, drop those questions in the comments as well. We'd love to hear from you. We'd love to answer your questions. And in order to hear the answers to the questions you're asking, make sure to subscribe to the channel so we don't miss each other. See you next time, everyone.